Hi all, my name is Miss Mokner and I'm the Head of Maths at Fulham Cross Academy. We're extremely excited for you to be joining us in September and we're all looking forward to meeting every single one of you. Within the Maths Department, we ensure that our lessons are enjoyable and fun and yet challenging to your ability. Myself and all of the other Maths teachers are extremely friendly and helpful and we're always there to help and support you with your Maths work. Now, usually around this time of the year, we would have the pleasure of having you come into our school for a day, and you would and you would get to be and you would get to take part in a maths lesson. But unfortunately, we're unable to do this this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a maths magic trick, and perhaps this is something you might like to try at home with your family. So here, let's go. Let, let me try and teach it to you now. So what I want you to do is think of a number. Okay, have you all got that number? Okay, now what I want you to do is double it. So double your number times it by two. Fantastic, I'm sure you've all got that in your heads. Now what you're going to do is add on six to your number. Okay, I'll give you a minute, add on six. Okay, fantastic. Now half your answer, divide it by two, perfect. Now what I want you to do is take the number that you originally thought of and subtract it. Okay, fantastic. Now I bet that all of your answers that you've got was the number three. Am I right? Am I right? I hope I'm right. Now why is, it the, why is this the case? I bet you everyone had different numbers they thought of, but you all got the answer three. So no matter what number you think of, you should always get an answer of three. Why is this? And actually, if you go back and change it, that you add eight on instead of six, you will always get an answer of four. Maybe we should try it out and see if you get an answer of four. Okay, let's go again. Let's try it again. Okay, so think of your number. Perfect. Now you're going to double that number. Fantastic. You're doubling your number. Okay. What I want you to do now is add on eight to your number. Okay. Now you're going to half it. And then final step, take away the number that you thought of. Do we have an answer of four? Do we have an answer of four? I hope so. Now, why don't you go and try this at home with your family and see, do they get the answer of three if you add on six or do they get an answer of four when they add on eight? And I look forward to meeting you in September and for you to tell me how you got on with this maths magic. See you in September. Bye now.